wondered how to make your own infused medicinal oils in a legal oil infusing machine? If so, then this is definitely the video for you. Hello, my name is Angela from the website naturallivingalchemy.ca. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can make your own medicinally infused oils right in this handy machine here. Now, make sure that you stay till the end because I have a little bit of a hack that I want to share with you. Before we begin, I would like to share a little bit of a vision for these tutorial videos. So the ones that I've shared so far are fairly basic and they're good ones to start with, at least in my opinion. Now, I do have plans of sharing different recipes and formulations that you can make yourself, and I'm going to be talking more about the plants themselves. I'm going to be covering things like the doctrine of signatures, which is, well, the language of nature itself. And I'll show you how you can make your own energy infusions, how you can set intentions within your medicines and bless them. So be sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of that. But enough about that. Now for today's content. We're going to be talking about another way that you can make medicinally infused oils. I do have an entire video explaining what medicinally infused oils are, the benefits of them, the uses, and how to make it using a double, double boiler or a stovetop method. So instead of repeating a lot of the information that I've already spoken about, I'm going to refer you to that video and there's a blog post that goes with it. But for today, we're just going to keep this video about specifically this machine. What is a Levo oil infusing machine if you don't know? Well, basically, it's this little lovely lady right here. And it is a machine that makes specialty small batch artisan infusions. Small batch because we can only make up to two cups at a time. With this lovely little lady, you can actually infuse roots, petals, seeds, herbs, different vegetables. Think along the lines of maybe an infused garlic and, of course, cannabis. And you can infuse any of those into whatever oil you want, such as a glycerin, an MCT oil, avocado, corn, grapeseed, canola, sesame, coconut oils, and butters, ghee, and even milk or honey. So really, there's not much that she can't do when it comes to the world of infusions. Now, why would you want to use something like this over, say, a double boiler or a stovetop method? Well, sometimes it is hard to keep the temperature stable when just doing it in a double boiler or on a stove. Okay? You can end up burning the delicate herbs that you're trying to infuse. So... If we use something like this that can actually control the temperature, it can control the time. I'll get into the temperatures and the time in a moment. And you just have a lot more control over what your finished infusions are going to be. Now, we have three different cycles that we can choose from in this machine. We have dry, we have activate, and we have infuse. So I'm just going to talk briefly about each one of them, and then I'm going to show you how, how she works. So the first cycle we'll talk about is the drying cycle. And you would only want to use this one if you were needing to dry your herb. You would not use this cycle if you were using something with the cannabis plant. We're going to get to that cycle in a moment. But say, for instance, you grew yourself spices to fill your pantry for your spice cupboard. Okay. So some herbs, you would definitely just be able to hang upside down and let them dry naturally. But what happens if the spice that you are wanting to dry is something that's more moisture in it? You could run the risk of actually having your plant start to get moldy before it actually dried out so that you could then grind it up and use it for your spices. So that's when something like this with a drying cycle would be beneficial to you. So the heat range of the drying cycle is 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius all the way to 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. And she's completely programmable and each cycle can last up to 10 hours. So the next cycle that I want to talk about is the activate cycle 
or the decarboxylation cycle. So you would want to use this only if you are making a cannabis infusion, such as an infused butter. And the reason that you would actually need to decarb your cannabis is because in its natural form, your body actually can't interact with it in the way that you're used to. So in its natural form, cannabis has something called THCA, which is tetrahydrocannabinoid acid. Now, we need heat in order to convert that just into THC. Okay, there's a whole science behind it that I don't want to take up too much of your time explaining, but it's actually pretty interesting. But basically put, if you were going to make a cannabis infusion without activating it first, you wouldn't actually be able to receive the psychoactive properties that you might be looking for out of an edible. However, if you were wanting to get some of the other benefits from cannabis that were not the psychoactive ones, you just wouldn't activate it first. And she has a whole plethora of other benefits that we don't really think about when we think of describing the cannabis plant. If you would like more information on that kind of thing or different infusions that you can make along those lines, let me know and I could go into it deeper. Um, otherwise, I don't need to make this in a whole video about cannabis infusions. Okay. However, the heat range for the activate cycle is 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius all the way to 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 135 degrees Celsius. And that cycle also lasts up to 10 hours. So the final cycle that we're gonna talk about briefly is the infuse cycle. And that's the one that we're gonna be using today. And you would use this cycle if your herbs were prepared, be it dried or activated, whatever you're needing, and you're just ready to make your infusion. Now, this company does have a handy calculator that I will link in the description box just so you can see, um, which already has some predetermined times and temperatures for certain infusions based on what it is that you're wanting to infuse into what you're wanting to infuse. However, I prefer to just use a more lower and slower method. So I prefer to kind of keep all of my oil infusions around the 95 to 110 degree Fahrenheit temperature range, okay? But by all means, it is up to you, whatever you want to do. If you're intuitively feeling that you would like to infuse your herbs at maybe a higher temperature or a lower one, by all means, you can do that. The heat range of the infused cycle is 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius, all the way up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius. It is also programmable for up to 10 hours. So as you can see, that is a large temperature range that you actually have the freedom to use and explore however you see fit. All right, with all of that being said, how do you actually use her? Well, it's very simple. So in this machine, now, I do want to mention something. Um, I have read this in every single review um, before I purchased this machine. And if you are wanting to get your own, I do have a, um, a link down below in the description box. So you can check that out yourself. But so this little lid, obviously supposed to go down. There is a plastic piece that's supposed to be in here that... Um, helps keep it actually closed, it broke the second time I used it. And every review that I read actually mentioned that that was something that happened. Um, in a newer model of this machine, I believe they've actually changed the lid, but in this one, which is the Levo 2, her name's Lorraine if you're curious, um, yeah, this one broke and I actually just use packing tape because I don't know if you've noticed, but we're not the most technical people around here and that's okay. We're gonna work with what we have. So basically what you get is here is your reservoir. And as you can see, this is only going to hold up to two cups at a time. Once you have your reservoir in your machine, here is your herb pod, okay? Now this holds half a cup 
of herbs. Um, if you're curious about seven grams cannabis. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be making an herbal infusion out of these um, marigold or calendula flowers. So what I did is I just took some and I just kind of roughly cut them up. So you, you don't want it too, too small. You don't want your herbal pieces to kind of go through the holes of the power pot. So you're just going to want to loosely grind it. And then I will show you what we'll do. So once you have your reservoir container in your machine, you have your power pod filled with your, your herbs, you're gonna take this little black piece. Very important, because this is actually what is going to keep the oil moving around within the mixture and the infusion. So that just goes right in the middle. Today's infusion, I am going to be using a olive oil. So then all you do is just pour the oil into the reservoir. Now, one other thing that I do like to do is sometimes just take this off of the herbs and just make sure that you have enough oil that is actually covering the herbs. So then you just want to make sure that you put your lid back on your power pot if you did happen to look and see in there. And then we are going to just choose our cycle. Right, so once we have our lid closed, we have it locked. I'm going to just use my handy pieces of tape just to make sure that it stays closed. Not that I've ever had her fly open, but um, I like to prefer to be a little bit on the safe or sorry side. So all we're going to do now is we're going to choose the infused cycle. I'm going to do mine for an hour and a half. And the temperature that I want to go to is 110. So that's all we do. We got it set, ready to infuse, hour 30, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And we just hit start. Now, I do like to just keep an empty jar underneath the bottom, um, just in case some of the, uh, the oil drips down through. I don't like cleaning messes, and so I try not to make them. But yeah, this is just basically going to spend some time warming up, and then it will run for an hour and a half, and I will show you what we do when it's all done. So I'll see you shortly. Now that our infusion is complete, all we need to do next is just hit this little drop button here. And allow our oil to come out. One last thing that you can do to make sure that you get all of the um, oil out of the herbs in here. I grab it, but it's a little bit warm. Is you can just take, I just like to use this, this wooden utensil, and you can just kind of push down in the herbs and just make sure all of the oil, so every last little bit. And that's it. Now you have your own beautiful medicinally infused oil that you can use for the base of many recipes. Or you can even just use some of these as like a massage oil.
depending on what it is that you are wanting to make in the first place. But what's very important is we need to remember to label our lid. So you wanna make sure that you're including the herbs you used, the oil you used. And I like to include things like temperature and the time that I let the infusion sit for, just so I can decide if I wanna change it up a later, maybe make it a little bit stronger, maybe a little bit more diluted, but there you go. Oh, and the date, date's very important. And there you have it. That is how simple it is to use a Levo infusing machine to make your own infused medicinal oils. All right, so now for that hack that I promised you. So what happens if you are wanting to infuse more than half a cup of, of plant material? You have a couple options. You could just buy a second one of these pods and they both just fit in there nicely. And that is a wonderful thing that you could do. But another thing that you could do instead involves finding something like a French press. And specifically, you're wanting the part of the filter on the bottom. So if you were to take this apart, you would then have something like this. And this is the same size as the bottom of the reservoir. It's actually a little bit bigger, which is almost what you'd want. And then all you'd have to do Put your little agitator magnet just right in the middle and that's it you are good to go then you could fill this as full as you wanted with your plant material and infuse from there i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on making your own infused medicinal oils in a levo herbal infuser Comment down below and let me know what types of infusions that you use your Levo for. Or if you haven't bought one yet and you're going to, what's the first thing you're going to make? Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with anybody who you think might benefit or enjoy learning how to make their own medicinally infused oils in an herbal infusion machine. Till next time, I want to thank you for spending this time with me and may you find peace wherever you are.